Um, uh, you know we got to do the infrared. Oh, man. A come everybody on. been talking about that. Come we on. got that, that. That's like a must right there. Come on. Come on, bro. That's, Stay up. That's got it. Uh, you know, when it came out. Mm -hmm. That's what had everybody buzzing. Yeah. You know, you know, yeah. the infrared. What, what you think they... They want to know about infrared. Man. Man, that line. <laughs> <laughs> you know, you know, when he said, um, uh, what he say, uh, about the Quentin Mental uh, line, when he said, Oh, uh, yeah, yeah. It was written like nine. Yeah. It came from Quentin. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, that's it. It was written like, it was written like Nas, but it came from Quentin. Mm. Yeah. Fire, mm. man. You know, that, that right there, you know, that's like... The truth. That's like taking, yeah. The yeah, truth. But that's, you know... <laughs> I mean, you know what I'm saying? I mean, what, what, what could son do? What, what could he, what could he say? I mean, it's, it's the truth. Yeah. You know what and, I'm saying? And, and the beat, man, I just love... And I, and I say I, I think the infrared is like one probably one of my favorite beats on the album because yeah. it's just so different and it got and it got that um he took that one word and made it so simple you know what I'm saying mm -hmm. and and put it in the beat and created a whole track around it and it's like infrared I mean I'm taking them shots I got you on you know I got the beam on you you know mm -hmm. yeah man so yeah. Yeah, I think that's dope, man. Let's let's check some of it. All right, that's so like, that's like the triumph right there. <sighs> Infrared. Niggas looking at me like I really killed the baby. And it's, it's, <laughs> it's true, like man, you know. Push was asked how all of this started, and you know, it makes sense. It all came from, you know, what I'm saying after, you know, what happened to yeah. that boy. You know what I'm saying. Mm -hmm. And I mean, you know, when when the bait, when when Pharrell came with the bait, you know what I'm saying, and the clips was rocking, and you know they they had their own style of it, yeah. you know, and you know Wayne and Baby, you know they tried to bite the style, you know that's when Wayne got got on the skateboard or whatnot, you know what I'm saying, and they wanted some clothes, and you know Pharrell was like, nah, you know still still in the works or whatnot, you know mm -hmm. what I'm saying, so the nigga went and bit it anyway. You know what I'm saying? And that's what, you know, that's where Mr. Me Too came from. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Because yeah. he didn't have permission to rock the shit anyway. Then he tried to front on them niggas, you know what I'm saying, in the interview. And basically make it seem like, you know, the niggas what nothing like some little niggas or whatever. Mm -hmm. So, you know, everybody want to know, you know, where it came from. And you know what I'm saying? When Drake... I guess he felt the way, you know, being on the label and felt like, you know, nah, let me let me step step up and handle that for you. Kinda, you know what I'm saying? If you think back, if you on some real hip hop shit, if you a real hip hop head and you know what I'm saying, you 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 know, it's kinda like, you know what I'm saying, when Snoop kicked over the buildings, you know what I'm saying? And, yeah. and Big put the order out for him, you know what I'm saying, mm -hmm. and Pac. When he went to death row, he told, you know, Snoop was like, nah, he was like, nah, nigga, don't say nothing, I got this. You know, he went at everybody, you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. I guess Drake felt like, you know, he was going to sign Push. Nah. You know what I'm saying? He I, can't, and I tell you this much, too. The only reason why I think people say Drake won that battle against Meek is because Meek... He messed up. He went to his his element to battle Drake. Yeah. Instead of going where he went, you know, usually go. Yeah. You know, just 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 you know, just take a beat. Yeah. You take an old beat and just kill him on some straight up and down hardcore lyrics. Just yeah. You know and what I mean? I'm saying? You know, the, the timing was off. Yeah. You know, and, he, he was waiting when when he responded, it was you know, by that time, it was too late, no matter what, what he would have said. You yeah, know? then on top of that, I think the fact that he was with Nicki kind of, you know. Yeah. You know, that, that I believe that fire was kind of kind of put down a little bit. Yeah. So, you know, yeah. he didn't really have that drive when he came out with his diss, nah. his diss song. He tried to, 
he tried to come out and uh and make a hit basically instead of just man i'm just gonna kill this dude yeah you know yeah and it got to his yeah. head you know he, yeah, he thought you know he thought he was Hulk Hogan. you mm -hmm. know what i'm saying he he got all through the wrestlemanias you know what i'm saying mm -hmm. he, he got through you know what i'm saying but little did he know yeah the nigga king push was undertaker yeah yeah <laughs> you know what I'm saying? The tombstone, the nigga, like, yeah. you know what I'm saying? Yeah. He tried to come back with the duppy freestyle, which, you know, yeah, yeah, if you want some commercial shit, yeah, that shit was dope. But mm. that shit wasn't like no, it wasn't no punches in there to really nah, kill a nigga. Nah, 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 not, not to kill, but let me, let, let me make a note of this too, because mm -hmm. I don't want people to feel like, Ah, they just being biased and it's to mm -hmm. me, my personal opinion, I think Drake can actually, you know, rap because if you go and kind of do the history on it, mm -hmm. he really kind of, people don't know, pe people might know this, but people may don't. Mm -hmm. He kind of got his staff from Fonte. If you know who Fonte from Little Brother is, he always bigs him up. Mm -hmm. Fonte uh, was actually one of the first ones that can really rap good and sing good mm -hmm, true. so he kind of got his little and matter of fact they had did a song uh back back in the day i think it was him and little brother called um what's that song with the piano that uh that uh it had the anita baker that uh shoot. i can't remember i know yeah, what you're i talking can't remember about. But, yeah. but yeah but you know what i'm saying but you know compared to some of these other dudes Drake can actually, you know, rhyme, rhyme a little bit, like, mm -hmm. compared to, like, Amigos, uh, Little Pump, and, you know, yeah, this, he, that, and the third. He, he can hold he his got own. A, yeah, he, he got can a little, his own, yeah. but, you know, I think, with a real head, it's, it's oh, like, nah. you yeah. know, <laughs> yeah, he can hold his own, a nigga can, he can rhyme and all of that, but, my thing yeah. is, like, it always comes back to, who wrote it? Yeah. I'm gonna too. always look at that nigga like, all right, that you know, songs all right. Yeah. Man, who wrote mm, it? He, yeah. he, even his songs on the radio, you know what I'm saying? Like, you that's, know, the that's the, true. The, the nice for what? You know what I'm saying? Yeah, it's like that's very true. Like if right, you don't you know, you know cool. because hip hop is based on if you writing it now, of course, like on down the line, you might you know, you might have a little you know, help here and there, but yeah, yeah, the majority everybody. of it is, yeah, the majority of it's based on if you wrote, you know, wrote the hit. Yeah, you know, it comes you know back to that. Yeah, you know what I'm saying. And I got into it with with a, you know, <laughs> I got into it with a chick earlier today on Facebook talking about because I said something about Drake. And it's like you're a hater. You're hating on greatness or whatever. What? Yeah, th these are people. That just started listening to music. Yeah. Pre two thousand. Yeah. Ish. Maybe may, I'm I'm gonna even go deeper. Maybe like two thousand five, yeah. six. And, 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 and see if you missed the early two thousand, nah. you really missed out. Yeah, you missed out. You know what and, I'm saying? You know, half of these people ain't even heard the mixtape mixtape wing. You know what I'm yeah. saying? Like they they ain't even they ain't tapped into that. You know what I'm saying? These mm -hmm. people. You know, having been to concerts and just to throw this in there, like me and bro been to multiple concerts. Yeah. You know what Definitely. I'm saying? Like, yeah. you talking to a nigga that been to the block parties, you mm. know what I'm saying, in Queens and the Bronx mm. and Brooklyn, you know what I'm saying, since 83. You know what I'm saying? So you can't really, you can't really try to make a point with somebody that's been listening to hip hop that long you know what i'm saying it's it's kind of like you know what i'm saying sugar hill and you know grandmaster cash those yeah. niggas stole that run from grandmaster cash yep, you know what i'm yep. saying niggas mm -hmm. went them niggas